so much for the big waves. It's pouring now. picture of the waves in my last clip, but see I had to, I had to zip my bag over the, well I had the uh, saran wrap over the camcorder, but it kept folding right over the lens. So the picture may not have been as clear as I wanted it. stops, I'll just stay in the car. It's interesting to know, my very first cassette tape recorder I got for Christmas exactly half a century ago today. That's right, half a century ago today. Can you believe it? Even the rain stops, I'll just stay in the car. Oh yeah, nice. Santa Claus had much good weather to do his deliveries overnight. It was downright windy. I was hoping the wind would really kick up the waves. I mean, December 1st was a real winter when I was here. You know, hoping the waves would be even bigger today than they were on December 1st, but strange enough, they weren't. At least, not yet. Days ago, we had all that snow, and now it's practically all gone. The warm temperatures, wind, and rain. size waves today, but, you know, they weren't as big as I hoped they'd be, because on the high wind morning, 65 mile an hour in dust wind, definitely jack up the waves. Yeah, we know they'll probably come later, the bigger waves. Let's we'll see what I can get here. Let's see something over there. So what's new? snow that fell eight days ago we had about eight inches. When I did my weather blog, I showed everybody how I shovel snow. At least I don't have to shovel rain. <laughs> use a digging shovel first, tip away the hard packed snow, and then I use a 
garden hoe to loosen up the tipped away snow. And then I scoop it up with the snow shovel and easily throw it aside. It'll work like a charm. Yeah, good friend Tom Benson, however, he had two feet of the snow, but it was all nice and fluffy. And Jason says he might get some snow before the new year. In this state in 2002, it was deep snow. Not here. In western Massachusetts, they had three feet of the white stuff. down there, but I don't think much difference whether I'm down here or here. I can't even hear the waves anyway because the wind is so strong. Okay, I'm six and a half minutes of recording. I'll put no batteries in this camcorder just in case it's thunder too. Yeah, I have them. Just have to get them installed. You know, it was 20 years ago, let's try games. It was 50 years ago today, I got my very first cassette tape recorder. It was on 122570, that forever revolutionized my entertainment life. 50 years ago today. Boy, the tape that came with it I still have, by the way. Christmas Day 1980, it was in the single numbers all day. I must say my December 1st 20 videos of this place were really surefire winners. I was hoping today would match that. There was hardly any wind on the December 1st uh, video, so the waves sounded pretty damn nice. Especially the second clip when I almost got <laughs> swept into the sea. Some of you have seen my video already. I think the waves here are not too shabby. And recording. So you can't hear the waves except the sound of the wiper. And the sound of my car. And the wind outside. You know, my December 1st uh, video, I kept saying the 75th birthday of Bette Midler and her number one song from June of 89, Wind Beneath My Wings. <laughs> I don't think anybody ever heard of Bette Miller because nobody ever said anything about her anyway when they saw my videos and commented, oh well. Of course, it's time of the year 1990, she had another big hit from a distance, but I like Wind Beneath My Wings much better anyway. Besides, I like what went on after that was number one. I was on my vacation for my pain in the ass job I had back then, McDonald's in Wakefield. So glad to have my vacation. Sorry, I don't need a shake. At least of my desires. I try to get those splashes if I can. You look magnificent. I watched on my videotape this lovely place, Dragonhead Beach, next to Beaver Tail, was back on 22720, just about 10 months ago. <laughs> I think the waves today were much bigger than back then. Much bigger. Still wish they were bigger today than they were on December 1st. It would have been wonderful. When I was at the other beach, just to the northeast of the lighthouse, 
they were pretty good, except it was so windy I couldn't stand up. Okay, I'm 10 minutes of recording. their most favorite Christmas presents. Mm -hmm. Half a century ago today, I got my very first cassette tape recorder. It was a nice one, too. Christmases that weren't all up to par it was in 1979 when I came down with a 24-hour flu, plus I saw a frig-ass RSA while taking my father's mother back to her nursing home. And 2010 wasn't all that stellar either. But I like what went on Christmas Day, going all the way back to 1964, one of the early Uruguay. I still remember that Christmas, 56 years ago today. I love what went on back then. Yeah. By Christmas 1967, Alana Miles, who hit number one with Black Velvet in the early spring of 1990, she was born 1225-67. Yeah, I like what went on when she was born. That song Black Velvet sing all about Elvis Presley. Remember back on 10 30 17, I was uh, videotaping right here. Pickup truck pulled up, and a whole bunch of kids were let loose. <laughs> Had to be careful, make sure I didn't videotape any frig ass RSAs by mistake. That will not do. Because I was attacked by them on this date in 1979 and again in 2010. We don't want 2020 to be added to the crap list. That's something even the Grinch wouldn't want for Christmas in RSA. <laughs> Same with Donald Trump, he wouldn't want that either. Think if he had a left side over him, he'd be out there. You know, I can't go wishful thinking. Remember that song from the summer of 1990. My goal last. <laughs> you were right, I should have been a DJ. Well, I can shoot out the dates of all these songs I listed. Yeah, listen to an oldies DJ, uh, oldies radio station DJ. You think they'll call out the dates of the songs like I do? Yeah, very unlikely. It hurt for them to call me up and ask when the song came out. I'll shoot them as fast as lightning, you know. got any free ass RSAs on them. I hope not. So much for a Christmas gift. 
That's why about three minutes ago I pointed the camcorder over that way in case he had something bad on him. I tell you. Like I said in my December 1st uh, video, I steer clear cloud. <laughs> nice try, James. Or James Owen. I steer clear of crowds. I steer clear of crowds. Long before the COVID pandemic became reality. Because of my severe RSA phobia that dates way back. Not long after I got my first tape recorder. I was just talking about that earlier when I got it. I mean, that guy was taking video pictures of the waves. Well, he has a YouTube channel. <laughs> okay, I'll just keep on video until the battery lights on his last legs. Well, I must say, I think the waves are okay size today. I was hoping they were bigger than the ones of December 1st, but I don't guarantee that they are. But again, I have to videotape from up here. That's I can't get the sounds of them anyway because the wind is blowing so hard. On December 1st, the waves were very audible because there's hardly any wind, and that was a real grand treat. Both Tom and Jason noted the sounds of the waves are beautiful on December 1st. Well, I'm not sure when I'll be back here after today. taking off now. There's other cars here too besides the guy with the camera with the long nose. <laughs> oh, there's that splash. Here comes the rain again. That was hit by the Rhythmics back in March of 1984. <laughs> Talking about the Rhythmics, uh, Annie Lennox has a birthday today too. For 1954. A hit from the summer of '83. Sweet dreams are made of this. Yeah, I like that song. Well, in case you're wondering, what's my most favorite Christmas song? Hit the pop charts. Exactly this time of the year in 1984. Do they know it's Christmas by Band Aid? That one's got some really nice, sexy synthesizers. If you heard the song, you know what I mean. song on the pop charts that's also a Christmas tune this time of the year in 1958 the chipmunk song which I first heard in Montevideo Uruguay yeah here's a little bit of an interesting tidbit what got me interested in doing my comics was Spy vs. Spy from the Mad Magazine and when I first heard the chipmunk song from David Seville and the Chipmunks with the, by the chipmunks originally from this time in 58 Heard him in 64 this time. I thought it was Spy vs. Spy singing out the tune with Chipmunk song. I swear, that's what I thought. Isn't that something? Maybe I confused them with Heckle and Jekyll. I used to watch them too. You know, those cartoons, or shall I say, Dibujo Animados. That's what they're called. Yep, 1961 to 64, we had Christmas while well, it was hot and humid outside. And good beach weather, although I don't think the waves were ever this big in Montevideo, Uruguay. I don't think so. Keep on videoing until the battery light shows his last gasp. Yeah. Again, I thought that was pretty funny when I mentioned the Chipmunk song, a number one song this time of the year, 1958. I thought that was Spy vs. Spy from the Mad Magazine singing out the tune. 
I know that, that's what I thought. At that time, I was at a ripe old age of seven at the time. Christmas present be big waves and hopefully we won't lose power because that was also the risk formula losing power to the high winds. We design these super duper computers these days and yet we can't do anything about power outages. Can you imagine that? Never mind the COVID epidemic, although the vaccines are becoming readily available. How to go about getting the vaccines. Probably, probably a long line of people waiting to get the vaccine, like those gas lines way back in June of 79, waiting on line for car, uh, the cars waiting on line for gas. Yeah, I remember that too. Oh yeah, I got some waves here. here back on 10:30:17, that was one video I made I wish I had made a longer video but my sister was doing the driving driving and she had to hurry home for some strange reason so I had to cut my video short but again that's well over three years ago already it doesn't seem that long by the way I was here exactly three years ago tomorrow but the waves were so tiny I even deleted the video So I can see the yeah, see what's over there. Yeah, I point the camera over there, and guess what? The person driving that car will jump out and show me his R and say, You want to bet? No, thank you. Neither the Grinch, uh, Ebenezer Scrooge, or even Donald Trump will want that to happen to me, especially on Christmas Day. Okay, I think I'm going to have to change batteries. Let's see if I can get this last wave. About 23 minutes of recording. The battery's on his last gasp. So I got a bag of spares. I just turned the car off. batteries in case there's any thunder while I'm here. Imagine that. I uh, videotaped thunder and I was here the same day back on 1-20-19 almost two years ago. Some of my good T-Storm buddies remember that very well. Especially Tom, Jason at least. Alright, let's change batteries. <laughs> 